Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you going to open the door at any time? Hello? Can, no? Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa- it's fairly urgent. I'll just open the door. That's too aggressive. Hello, friend. Why not open the door? Hmm. Could be Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. Donde esta... L- no. Um. Fine. No. Fine. Absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. All right, look, okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me, we're both going to die. All right, I didn't want to say it. There you go. You've dragged it out of me. All right, dead. Dos muerte. Hello. Hello. Go on. Open the door. Hello. Ha! I knew someone was alive in here. Ah! Oh, God. You look te- Um... Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. That's all I'm saying. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarm, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Simple word. Apple. Just say... Apple. Classic. Very simple. A double P L E. Just say apple. Easy word, isn't it? Apple. How would you use it in a sentence? Mmm, this apple's crunchy, you might say. And I'm not even asking you for the whole sentence, just the word apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Oh, it's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Ah. just, I just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? All right, see, now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Whoa, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that. You got the jumping on your side. Um, Just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. All right, off you go. Go on, just march on through that hole. Yeah, it's all right. Go ahead. I know, I know. I have painted quite a grim picture of your chances. But if you simply stand here, we will both surely die. So, once again, just move along. One small step and everything. Go on. On you go. Your destination's probably not going to come and meet us here, is it? So, go on. That's the spirit. Good luck. Hey, hey, you made it. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? It's all right. No, go on. Just have a look about. No, that's right. Over by the podium. Yeah. If you just... Okay, just stand by the podium and just look up. That's it. Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. Oh, hello. Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. And I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait one hour. Then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right. Brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully, if you're not 
dead. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Just pop a portal right behind me there, and come on through to the other side. Pop a little portal, just there, all right behind me, and come on through, right behind me. All right, let me explain again. Pop a portal behind me, all right, and come on through. Pop a portal behind me on the wall, come on through. Come on through. Come on through to the other side. Come on through. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me, catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow. I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I can't move, though. That's the problem now. Are you still Are you still there? Could you pick me up, do you think? If you are there? Hello? Can you Can you pick me up, please? Sorry, are you still there? Could you pick Could you pick me up? If you are there, would you mind... Giving me a little bit of help. <laughs> Just picking me up. Look look down. Where am I? Where am I? On the floor. Needing your help the whole time. All the time. Needing your help. Still here on the floor. Waiting to be picked up. Um, look down. Where? Who's that down there talking? It's me. Down on the floor. Needing you to pick me up. I spy with my little eye. Something that starts with F. Did you give up? It was the floor. Lying down on the floor is where I am. Needing you to pick me up. <laughs> Don't want to hassle you. Sure you're busy, um, but still here on the floor, waiting to be picked up. I spy with my little eye something that starts with an A. Give up. Also the floor was the answer that time. Same as before, still on the floor. What are you doing? You're just having a little five minutes to yourself? Fair enough. You've had a rough time. You've been asleep for who knows how long. You've got the massive brain damage and you're having a little rest. But now, get yourself up and pick me up. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Great. Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Go on, just jam me in over there. Right on that stick, over there, just put me right on it. It is tricky, it is tricky. But, um, just plug me in, please. Plug me into that stick on the wall over there. I'll show you something. It does sound rude, I'm not going to lie to you, it does sound rude. It's not. Put me right on it, stick me in. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? I can't, I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> I, I can't do it if you're watching. If you... Just turn around. What's that behind you? It's only a robot on a bloody stick. A different one. All right. <laughs> can't do it if you're, if you're leering at me. It's creepy. Okay, listen. I can't do it with you watching. <laughs> I know it seems pathetic, given what we've been through. But just turn around, please. All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel that I opened while your back was turned. Pick me up. Let's get out of here. Pick. Would you pick me up? <laughs> would you pick me up? Hey! Pick me up! Pick me up! Don't forget to pick me up. Might want to just pick me up. Oh, oh, no, don't leave me behind. Uh, do pick me up, if you would. Just, uh, pick me up. Take me with you. Oh! Remember when you picked me up five seconds ago? Oh, that was amazing. Do it again. Pick me up again. Let's do it again. Pick me up again. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just... Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um... Just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So... If you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them. Right now. In case you thought to yourself, I've missed the window of time to voice my reservations. Still open. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. 
I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch anything. OK, down these stairs. OK, down those stairs, please. Jump! It's actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? OK, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got, you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though. So you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do, do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note, no braces on your spine either. So, so don't land on that. Um, um, or your head, no braces there. That could that could split like a melon from this height. <laughs> um, so do definitely focus on landing with your legs. Can I, quick question: Have you been working out? Because I'll be honest, there's no evidence of it. You know, I'm not I'm not like just a plastic cup. Uh, we will be landing with some force. So a uh, bit of bit of grip, just using grip, classic grip. Right, let's go. Jump. What's the worst that could happen? Ah. Oh. Oh, I just thought about the worst thing that could happen there. Oh, I just thought of something even worse. Better plan, a new plan. No imagining of any potential outcomes whatsoever. Okay, just just jump, just jump into the into the abyss and, and see what happens. Oh, it's still there. It's still in my head. Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grip. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just sorry. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. I just now realised that I used to rely on my management rail to not fall into bottomless pits. In a way, you're my rail now, and you can fall into a bottomless pit. And I'm rambling now, out of fear. But here's the point: don't get too close to the edge. This is the main breaker room. Let's go in. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. Just quoting God. Oh, look at that. It's turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. It's it's moving up. Okay, no, don't don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. Uh oh. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just I'll just hack it. Not a problem. Uh, a a a a a. Um, a. <coughs> no, okay. A a a a a c. Now, wait, did I do B? Do you have a pen? Start writing these down. I don't... Okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. We've done nothing wrong. Hello? You know her? You did what? Ah! Uh, oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no! Ah! Hey, hey, it's me! I'm okay! You don't believe what happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done for, but I was a bloody bird, right? Couldn't believe it either. And then the bird... I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped me into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. Like, ah! Bird! 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 Okay, that's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, all right? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes, keep te- just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me, never saw me. Hey, how's it going? I talk my way onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this shaft. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Hey, buddy, I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. I know I'm early, but we have to go right now. Walk casually toward my position and we'll go shut her down. Run, I don't need to do the voice. Run, run. Come on, come on, come on. Keep moving, just keep moving. Run, for goodness sake. Go, 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 go. Run, come on, I'm closing the doors. Okay, quick recap. We are escaping. All right, that's what's happening now. We're escaping. Uh, so you're doing great, just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. We're gonna shut down her turret production line, all right? Turn off her neurotoxin and then confront her. Again though, for the moment, run. Oh, what? Come on. How stupid does she think we are? Oh, come on, come on. 
Ah! We have to get you out of there! Can you- can you get out? What's going on in there? Trying to make your way back out here! I heard gunfire! It's a bit late this, but uh, look out for gunfire! Probably doesn't help at this point, but uh, I have at least tried. You're okay! Great, come on! Turrets! There's the exit! We're almost out of here! She's bringing the whole place down! Hurry! Hurry! This way! Hurry! This way! Get in the lift! Get in the lift! We've made it! we made it! we made it! we made it! I'll meet you on the other side! Ah! Oh, brilliant! You made it through! Well done! Okay, follow me. We've still got work to do. At least she can't touch us back here. What's happening? Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, d uh, don't move. Okay, all right, so, I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. Ah! Oh, for God's sake. They told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. It's mad. Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal in any meaningful way. Oh, careful now. Try to jump across. Let's keep moving. The factory entrance must be around here somewhere. Careful, careful. Wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Quick, this way. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself. Nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans that... The, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I would uh, say smelly. Just, uh, just attending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. A bit insensitive. Um, the smelly humans. Okay, wait, let me light this path for you. Okay, we have to split up here for a moment. Portal up to that passage, and I'll see you on the other side. We've got to get you out of that room. Can you reach that wall back there? Okay, there's another wall over here. Oh, I'll tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look is great. And they're... F your folklore. Wonderful, isn't it? Very colourful. Right. Well, I'm going to take this rail down the back way. See you at the bottom. Good luck. Be careful. This is the turret manufacturing wing. Just past this is the old neurotoxin production facility. And if we find a way to take them both offline, she's going to be completely helpless, which is ideal. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. Pretty sure. The turret factory should be this way, I think. Oh, just thought of another great thing about humans. You invented us, which is... Great, giving us the opportunity to let you relax while we invented everything else. Couldn't have done any of that without you. Classy, if you don't mind me saying. Are you okay? Are you alive down there? If you're alive, can you say something? Jump around so I know you're okay. Oh, there you are. There you are. Sorry, I was starting to get worried. All right, let's try this again. Try to make your way across the machinery. Let's keep moving. The factory entrance must be around here somewhere. Okay, this way. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's this way. I'm definitely sure it's this way. Mm. Let, okay, let's try this way. Can you hear that? She's really kicked this place into high gear now. No, 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 not that way. Here it is. The turret factory entrance. We made it. Ah, oh, brilliant. You made it through. Well done. Follow me. You're going to love this. Almost there. Ta-da. Only the turret control center. Thank you very much. Here, come and have a look out the window. It's good. Go on. Just walk up to the window and have a look out. It's interesting. I think you, you won't regret it. I promise. Just glass. Transparent. Smooth. Not going to hurt you. Have a look. Just have a look through the old window. Go on. Walk up to the window. Take a look out. See that scanner out there, right? It's deciding which turrets to keep and which to toss. And it's using that master turret there as a template. Now, if, if we pull out the template turret, it'll shut down the whole production line. Right, um, hmm. I'm going to have to hack the door so that we can get at it. Technical. Um, you'll need to turn around while I do this. Turn around. I'll only be a second, if you wouldn't mind. Go on. Just, just turn right the way around. So... You're not looking at me. Just turn around. Could you... Would you turn around? Is that possible? Would you mind uh, w putting your back towards me so I can see only your back and not your face? Done. Hacked. Okay, go on. Just pull that turret out. Well, that should do it. Oh, it hasn't done it. Right, let's figure out how to stop this turret line. Have you got any ideas? Uh, any ideas? Any ideas? No? No, me neither. Are you, are you still thinking or what's happening? Tell you what, here's a plan. Let's just both continue contemplating... In absolute silence. Oh, wait! Ah, oh, no, 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 I've got it, I've got it, I've got it! No, I haven't got it. Oh, I just had one idea, which is that I could pretend to her that I've captured you and give you over and she'll kill you, but then I could go on living. So, 
What's your view on that? There's no turret in it. Maybe the system stores a backup image? Oh no, hang on. What if we what if we gave it something else to scan? We could get one of the the crap turrets. We could put it in the scanner, see what happens. Yes. Go and catch one of the crap turrets and bring it back. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, have you got an idea? Okay, well, all right. Just do your idea and then come straight back. Sorry, what's going on over there? You know, I'm actually over here still thinking really hard. What What, what do you have there? What What are you... Oh, brilliant. It's br- that's brilliant. Oh, no, you've got it. You've got it. Yes, put him in there. <laughs> oh, let's see how this place likes a crap turret. It worked. If we're lucky, she won't find out all her turrets are crap until it's too late. <laughs> Classic. Okay, keep your eye on the turret line. I'm going to go and hack the door open. Okay, I'm about to start hacking. It's a little bit more complicated than it looked from your side. It should take about 10 minutes. Keep one eye on the door. This door is actually pretty complicated. You know, when I mentioned 10 minutes, a little bit optimistic. Progress report, still pretty tricky. Progress report, I haven't really made any inroads. I'm still here, I'm still working, Don't. I haven't forgotten about you. Oh, good news. <laughs> Never mind. What's happening on your side, anything? Ah. Oh. Well, how long's the door been open? I mean, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind or like a hacker alert? I mean, you know, fair enough, the important thing is it's open, but just in just mention in the future. Cough or something. All right, now, she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. Barely science, really, is it? Baking soda volcano. Well, you know, at least it's not a potato battery, I'll give it that, but it's not terrifically original, is it? You know what I mean? Not exactly primary research, even within the child sciences. I'm guessing this wasn't one of the scientists' children. You know, I don't want to be snobby, but let's be honest, it's got it's got manual labourer written all over it, hasn't it? I'm not saying they're not as good as the professionals, you know, they're just, they're just a lot dumber. Look at that, it's growing right up into the ceiling. The whole place is probably overrun with potatoes at this point, isn't it? At least you won't starve, though. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. Just to reassure you. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. Oh, it's not this way. Okay, let's try this way. Ha! I knew we were going the right way. This is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, Not going to be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top. So uh, let's go and investigate. (laughs) Ha! There's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, really. They do feel pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But uh, real enough for them, I suppose. I'm afraid the door's locked. Just checked it. No way to hack it as far as I can tell. Uh, Mechanism must... Oh, now look at that. That's a big laser. Probably best to ignore it, though. Just leave it be. We don't know where those panels it's cutting are going. Could be somewhere important. Although, does give me an idea. What if we stand here and let the gentle hum of the laser transport us to a state of absolute relaxation? Might help us think of a way to open the door. It's not much of a plan, if I'm honest, but uh, I'm afraid it's all we got at this point. Barring a sudden barrage of speech from your direction. Improbable, at best. All right, so, silent contemplation it is. Mysterious button. Sorry, sorry. Silence. Do not speak in the silence. Let the silence descend. Here it comes. 100% silence from now. By the way, if you come up with any ideas, do flag them up. Don't don't feel you've got to stay quiet because I've said absolute silence. So if you come up with an idea, mention it. But otherwise, absolute silence. Starting now. Silence. What are you doing? We don't know what that button... Oh, the door's open. Well done. Let's see what's inside. Good news. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. It is, however, password protected. Ah, alarm bells. No, don't worry. All right? Not a problem for me. You may as well have a little rest, actually, while I work on it. Okay. Here we go. The hardest part of any hack is the figuring out how to start phase. That's always tricky. But let the games begin. All right. What have we got? A computer. Not a surprise, to be expected, to be honest. Check that off the list. Computer identified. Tick. There is a box part here. Probably got some electronics in there. And a monitor. Yes, that will be important, I imagine. I'll keep my eye on that. In case something useful comes up. Important words like password identified or something like that. And there's a flat bit. Not sure what that is, but noted. Anyone says to me, is there a flat bit? Yes, there it is. Spinning thing, not sure. 
the floor. What's the floor doing? What is the floor up to? Do you know what? It's holding everything up. Holding everything up. The floor is important. Holding everything up. Pens. Might need those. Don't see any, though. So... If we start making a list of things that aren't here, we could be here all night. You know, pens, for instance. So let's stick with things we can see, not, not stuff that isn't here. All right. Preparing to interface with the neurotoxin central control circuit. Begin. Hello, Gov. Neurotoxin inspector. Need to shut this place down for a moment. Here's my credentials. Shut yourself down. I am totally legit from the Board of International Neurotoxin uh, Observers from the United Arab Emirates. Hello. Nothing. It's... I tell you, he's good, this one. He is good. I'm going to need to break out the expert level hacking manoeuvres now. All right, you ask for it, mate. Cool! Cool! Look at that over there. Oh, what's that over there? Lovely bird. Lovely... Have a look at that. Gorgeous plumage. Majestic. Look over there. Won't be here long. That lovely bird like that, I'll be off. Once in a lifetime opportunity, this, to see a lovely bird with lovely plumage. Be ashamed to miss it, wouldn't it? Just for the old neurotoxin. Neurotoxin will still be here tomorrow, whereas that bird is, go is going to be gone any minute. It's already got one talon off the branch, going to be gone. Oh, it's fluttering its wings. It's t I'll tell you what, mate. I'll come in there for a minute and cover you so that you can have a look at this lovely bird. All right, so I'll come in. I'll deal with all the neurotoxin stuff. And then you come out here and look at this because it is lovely. It is lovely. You want to you wanna get out here fast. Seriously, because all of this, my pleasure sounds are going to frighten it away any seconds. Oh, it's not working, that, is it? He's not interested in bloody birds. Do you smell neurotoxin? Hold on, the neurotoxin levels are going down. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Hold on, something's wrong. Neurotoxin levels up to 50%. No, it's down. Sorry, my mistake. It's, I, I, said, I meant to say it's down 50%. It's good news. Carry on. It's still going down. It's still going. To, keep it up. That did it. Neurotoxin at 0%. Yes. Hold on. Ha! The tube's broken. We can ride it straight to her. I can't. Hold on. Come on. Come on. We have to go. Hurry. Get in. Get in. Nah. They should take us right to her. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all. That's what they say. It's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them. I, don't, I was a fool to myself. Oh, I'm, 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 lo I'm loving this. Well, of a time. This place is huge. And we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on her face. No neurotoxin, no turrets. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Because I, I, mm, I might not have thought this next part completely through. Ah! Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you. Hello. Oh, that's me they're talking about. I've got an idea. Do what it says. Plug me in. No, you should plug that little idiot into the mainframe. Yes, do do it. Don't listen to her. Do it. Do it. Come on, stop mucking around. Plug me in. Plug me in. Plug me in. I want to be plugged in, please. Oh, we're so close. Plug me in. Oh, what can we do with me then? I know. Plug me into the port, please. Oh, that port looks comfy. Why don't you put me on it, please? Dare it. Dare to dream. Shoot for the stars. Yes. Oh, yes, she is. Pull me out. 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 Leave me in. Leave me in. Leave. Go, pre go and press it. Yes, do do it. I think she's lying. Okay, don't listen to her, all right? It is true that you don't have the qualifications, but you've got something far more important than that. A finger, all right, with which to press that button so that she won't kill us. Okay. That's probably correct, but where it's incorrect is that while I've been stalling you, we just pressed the button. Use the moment of confusion I've just created to press the button. Have I... Can, let me just... I don't know if I've ever taken the time to do this, but have I ever told you the qualities that I love most in you? In order, number one, resolving things. Love the way you resolve things, particularly disputes. Uh, and number one, also tied, um, button pushing. Two things I love about you, button pushing and the ability to resolve things, chiefly disputes. First thing I thought about you when I saw you, I thought, now, there is a lady who could resolve resolve any uh, button-based disputes if they should arise. A diamond in the rough, if you will, a bloody natural, a born dispute resolution advisor in need of a button. Okay, here's a good idea. You should definitely press that button. Sorry to interject again, but if you do not push the button, the deadly neurotoxin emitters will come back online, at which point she will most likely fill you to brimming with neurotoxin. I'm not trying to rush you, just throwing that out there for leisurely digestion in your own time. Here I go! Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just... No, you're not. You are, it is going to hurt, isn't it? Exactly how painful are we to... Ah! Wow! Check me out, partner. We did it. I'm in control of the whole facility now. Whoa! Would you look at this? 
Not too bad, eh? Giant robot. Massive. It's not just me, right? I am bloody massive, aren't I? Oh, right, yeah, the escape lift. I'll call it now. There we go. Lift called. Look how small you are down there. I can barely see you. Very tiny and insignificant. Wait, I've just thought of something. How am I going to get in? You know, being bloody massive and everything. Wait, I know. You get into the lift, okay? Then I'll eject myself out of my new body into the lift just as you pass by me. Brilliant. It's perfect. Except for all the, the glass hitting us when I smash through the lift. That's a bit of a problem. Also, uh, once I eject myself out of the core, the lift might stop. Then uh, we'd be trapped in a lift full of broken glass, suspended 50 feet off the ground. You know what? Just get in the lift and we'll iron out the details um, as we go. Go on, get in. Get in the lift. The escape lift just there, come on. The one you risked your life to get to so you can escape certain death. No rush. Um, it's the lift just there. The thing that looks like a lift. That's what you're looking for. It is confusing, I know. It'll be fine. Get in. Let me tell you, I knew it was going to be cool to be in charge of everything, but wow, this is cool. And check this out. I'm a bloody genius now. Estás usando este software de traducción de forma incorrecta. Por favor, consulte el manual. I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, sorry, no, the lift. Yes, sorry, I keep forgetting. <laughs> this body's amazing, seriously. I can't get over how small you are, but I'm huge. <laughs> uh, actually, why do we have to leave right now? Do you have any idea how good this feels? I did this. Tiny little Wheatley did this. Oh, really? That's what the two of you think, is it? Well, maybe it's time I did something then. And don't think I'm not onto you too, lady. You know what you are? Selfish. I've done nothing but sacrifice to get us here. And what have you sacrificed? Nothing. Zero. All you've done is boss me around. Well, now who's the boss? Who's the boss? It's me. Ah, see that? That is a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, huh. what? No, not listening, not listening. No, you, no, you're lying, you're lying. I am not! A moron! Well, how about now? Now who's a moron? Could a moron punch you into this pit? Ah! Could a moron do that? Uh oh. For God's sake, your boxes with legs. It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto buttons. How can you not do the one thing you're designed for? Warmer. Warmer. Boiling hot. Boy, okay, colder, colder, ice cold, you're arctic now. It's, you're, you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button! Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny, because we've been at this for 12 hours, and you haven't solved it either, so I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour! Solve it! Ha <laughs> ha, yes! I knew you'd solve it. Oh. Hello? Um... True. I'll go true. Yeah, that was easy. I'll be honest, I might have heard that one before, though. Sort of cheating. Uh... False. I'll go false. Hold on. I thought I'd fix that. There. Fixed. Hey, it is great seeing you guys again. Seriously, um, it turns out I'm a little bit short on test subjects right now, so this works out perfect. And off we go. And off we go. All right, get moving. Move! You have no idea what it's like in this body. I have to test all the time. Or I get this, this itch, you know? It must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I tell you, when I do test, oh, man alive. Nothing feels better. It's just, I've just, that's why I've got a test. That's why I've got a test. So, you're gonna test, and I'm gonna watch. And everything is gonna be just fine. Shut up! Design this test myself. It's a little bit difficult. You'll notice the moat area there. Very deadly, extremely dangerous. Eventually, it's it, not at the moment, but we, I'm working on it, still working on it. Impossible, um, as it is to imagine, there actually is a solution, devilishly hidden. I'll give you a hint, button. That's all I'm going to say. One word. Button. Go on. Go on. Come on. Solve it. Solve it. Solve it. Commanding voice. Oh, yes. Oh, well done. Oh, that's tremendous. Yeah, you're not done yet, are you? Still got to get through the door. Need to get through the door there. Still got to, still got to get through the door. Please, through the... Need to get through that door there. Door. Finish it. Oh, that felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? Same one. And I can just, like, watch you solve it. Yeah, that, that sounds much easier. Here we go. Now, do it again. Go on. Come on, you've already solved it. Come on, you've already solved it once. Less than a minute ago, you solved this puzzle. Do it again, please. One minute ago. Le less than one minute ago, you solved this puzzle. 
Now you're having problems. You just beat this test literally 20 seconds ago. <coughs> button. 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 Press the button. <coughs> Press the button. <coughs> Press the button, would you? And... Nothing. All right, can't blame me for trying. Okay, new tests. New tests. Got to be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. It's all right. Everything's good. I just invented some more tests. Not entirely. Not entirely. Look at the word test there on the wall. That's brand new. Oh, wow. <laughs> well done. Seriously, both of you. Why don't, I, why don't you two go on ahead, yeah? I'll just, I'll catch up with you. Ah, oh, bless your little primate brain. I'm not actually in the room with you, am I? Technology. It's complicated. Uh, but you can't hurt the big old god face. Do you know what I've got too many of around here? Monitors. I was actually thinking earlier today, I got. I wish I had fewer monitors that were working. So you're just helping me, really, by smashing them. Okay, to clarify, I was being a little bit facetious about that wanting to get rid of monitors thing. They are actually really quite useful. So I do want them around. So um, if you could just avoid smashing them. Yes. All right. Okay. This is getting tiresome. Um, I'm, I'm surprised you haven't got something better to do, to be honest. Um, I know I have, but um, you, what have you done? You've proven that you can break screens. It's proven. Well done. Factual. Well done. Good. Aren't you, little Miss Clever? Little Miss Smashy Smash? Sorry, does it actually make you feel good doing that? Because, you know, it's not impressive. No one's impressed. It's just glass, isn't it? Fragile. Anyone could... A baby could smash one of them. It's not impressive. Do you know what? There are test subjects in Africa who don't even have monitors in their test chambers, all right? Why don't you think about that before you break any more of them, yeah? What is this, like a hobby for you now? I mean, honestly, it's, you know, it's crazy. I mean, I mean, you must, you've been running around for hours. I'm surprised you got the energy to smash screens willy-nilly. Honestly, I'd, I'd have a little lie down if I were you. I'd have a nap. Starting now, if I'm honest, to wonder if you're doing all this screen breaking on purpose. I'm beginning to actually take it personally. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, a, it's like an insult to me. Oh, there's another one. There goes another one. They're not inexpensive. Um, I'd just like to, to point that out. Um, it seems unfair, you know, smashing screens. You could give them to people. If you're going to, instead of smashing them, unscrew them and, and give them to, like, a homeless person. I don't know what a homeless person would do with. But, um, but you get my point. It just seems... And you can't unscrew them either. They're bolted in. But, oh, just stop it. Yeah, just wanted to flag up. It's not like I got hordes of replacement monitors just lying around back here in the old warehouse that I could just wheel out and bolt back on. Didn't th I didn't order in loads of spare monitors thinking some crazy woman's going to go around smashing them all. Sorry if that's my fault. Sorry if I didn't have the forethought to think, oh, she, she might go crazy one day and just smash all the monitors instead of just getting on with things. D sorry I didn't think of that. They're not even your screens to break. It's vandalism. It's pure vandalism. You wouldn't do that if this was your house, would you? If you were, if I came around your house smashing your telly to bits, you'd be furious, and rightly so. Unbelievable. Yeah, made this test myself out of smaller tests that I found lying around. Jammed them all together. Buttons, got funnels, bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. It's got it all. Absolute dynamite. All right, okay, this is taking too long, okay? I'll just tell you how to solve the test, okay? See that button over there, all right? You just need to... <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. Solve it yourself. You're on your own. Oh, yes. Well done. What? Well, no, you press the button. I'm coming, coming. Don't start yet. Don't start yet. You are not going to believe this. I found a sealed off wing. Hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers just sitting there filled with skeletons. Shook them out. Good as new. And there we go. Be honest. You can't even tell, can you? Seamless. Oh, here we go. Here it comes. Ah. Oh, disappointing. All right, so that last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you, so let's, well, let's try her way, all right? Fatty. Adopted fatty. Fatty, fatty, no parents. What? What's wrong with being adopted? Uh, uh, well, um, lack of parents, number one. So, uh, and also, nothing. But so, well, some of my best friends actually are orphans. But I am not a moron. Just do the test. Just do the test. It's not enough. If I'm such a moron, why can't you solve a simple test? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope that didn't, hope that didn't disturb you too much then. It was the sound of books. Pages being turned. So that was just what I was doing. Just reading uh, books. So not a moron. Anyway, just finish the last one. Just now the hardest one. Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yeah, doubt it. Well, 
On with the test. Wish there was more bugs. <laughs> well, there's not. Oh, what What was that? There was nothing. There was nothing. Don't mind me. Just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me. Um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. What was that? Oh, sorry. I could have sworn you said something. Ha! Missed me that time. Oh, you were, sol- you were solving. Sorry, never mind. Carry on. My fault. Are you are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, yes, you solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them and you're picking all the worst ways. No, no, that was the solution. Ah, what am I missing? Had a brainwave. I'm going to tape you solving these and then watch 10 at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. Oh, on a related note, I am going to need you to solve these ten times as fast. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, all right? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. You, oh, you just solved it, didn't you? I, I told you to tell, to tell me before. Ah, why are you making this so hard for me? Was, was self-destructing, already fixed. Programmed in one last tremor, for old time's sake. Two, I, one or two more tremors in there, just for fun. I let him keep his job, I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying, though, just keep on testing. All right, still nothing, let's keep moving. Sorry about the lift, it's out of service, because it melted. Might as well, you know, give you the tour. Um, to your left, you'll see some lights of some kind. Don't know what they do, um, but very sciencey anyway. And to your right, something huge hurtling to what- Oh God, run! That's not supposed to be there! Are you all right back there? Here, I'll turn the beam off. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 that's not helpful. That Ah, uh, I don't know why I thought that would help. Huh, you're alive. Great. Yeah, just uh, getting a, a test ready for you, obviously. Who else would I be doing it for? No one. So let's see here. Exit, exit, exit. There is no exit. Not a problem. I'll just, I'll make an exit for your test. There. Bing. Good. Perfect. On you go. I'll be honest. After you told me to turn that beam off, I thought I had lost you. Went poking around for other test subjects. No luck there. Everyone's still dead. But, oh, I did find something, though. Reminds me. I've got a big surprise for you two. Seriously, look forward to it. You two are going to love this big surprise. In fact, you might say you're going to love it to death. Going to love it until you until it kills you, until you're dead. <laughs> All right, I don't know whether... You're, uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there, but... Sorry, sorry, my fault. Butterfingers. Carry on. Only three more chambers to your big surprise. <laughs> oh, that's tiring. Oh, you solved it. Good. Good one. Good for you. I'll bet you're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well... Only two more chambers. Surprise! We're doing it now. You've probably figured it out by now, but I don't need you anymore. I found two little robots back here, built specifically for testing. Hello. This is the part where I kill you. Had a bit of a brainwave. There I was, smashing some steel plates together. And I thought to myself, yeah, it's deadly, but what's missing? What's missing? And I thought, lots of sharp bits welded onto the flat bits. It's still a work in progress. Don't judge me yet. Um, But, you know, eventually, I'd like to get them to, to sort of shoot fire at you. Um, moments before crushing you. That's the sort of, that's what I'm aiming for. Um, but you know, small steps. Oh, and don't bother trying to portal out of here because it's impossible. Okay, I've thought of everything. Uh, what? No, no, I don't think it is. I think you're wrong. <laughs> really? And do what, exactly? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't, stand right here. Stand. Start the machine, start the machine, start the machine. Where'd you go? Come back, come back. Oh, you came back. I didn't, oh, I didn't plan for this. Uh... Can't reset the death trap. Um, oh, could you could you just jump into that pit? Would you just jump into that pit for me? Could you just would you just jump into that pit there, that deadly pit? You're saying to yourself, why should I jump in the pit? I'll tell you why. Guess who's down there? Your parents. You're not adopted after all. It's your natural parents down there in the pit. Should have mentioned it before, but I didn't. So jump on down, and reunite with mummy and daddy. Oh, I'll tell you what's also down there. To your parents. And there's also an escape elevator down there. Funny. I should have mentioned it before, but so it's down there. So pop down, jump down. You got your folks down there and an escape elevator. And what else is down there? Tell you what, it's only a new jumpsuit. A very trendy designer jumped from France down there, which is at least exactly your size. And if and if it's a bit baggy, we got a tailor down there as well who can take it in for you. What's this? A lovely handbag. And the three portal device. Also, da- it's, it's all down there. Um, you've got a yacht and boys. 
Loads of boys, fellas, hunky guys down there, possibly even a boyfriend. Who's to say? I'm not sure at this stage. But uh, a lot of good-looking fellas down there. And uh, a boy band as well um, that haven't seen a woman in years. And they're not picky at all. They don't care if you've got a bit of brain damage, if you've been running around, if you've been sweating. And a farm, a pony farm, and... Uh, oh, just jump down, would you? Oh, wow, good. I didn't think that was going to work. No, seriously, do come back. Please, come back, please. Okay, look, I've decided I'm not going to kill you, okay, if you come back. Oh, just thinking back to the old times, the old days when we were friends, good old friends, not enemies. And I would say something like, come back, and you'd be like, yeah, no problem, and you'd come back. What happened to those days? Can't help but notice that you're not coming back, which is disappointing. Oh, I've got an idea. Yes, yes, in your face, I got, oh, no. Fine, let the games... Begin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm almost there. Ah, don't mind me. Continue escaping. Ha! Death trap! Are they killing you? They are killing you, aren't they? Silently killing you. Probably. If I had to guess. Um, perhaps the turrets have found a way to use garrots. That would explain the, the extremely quiet killing that I'm hearing. If you're dying, but not dead, stomp once. If you're dead... Just obviously no stomps. And two stomps if you're not dead. All right, so let me just run through it again. If you're dying but not dead, stomp just once. If you're dead, obviously you won't be stomping. And if you're not dead, give me a couple of stomps, two stomps. You know, I would tell you if I was dead. All right, that is common courtesy. Mark of a civil society. So just just let me know. Okay, I'm figuring that's probably long enough. Are you dead yet? How about now? Ha! Was that your bullet riddled body flying out the room? It went... Oh, those were the crap turrets, weren't they? Yeah. Well, no matter, because I'm still holding all the cards. And guess what? They're all full houses. I've never actually played cards, meaning to learn. Anyway, new turrets, not defective. Ace of fours, the best hand. Unbeatable, I would imagine. Oh, I see. Clever. Very clever. And foolish. No way out. You're at my mercy. And I don't have any. You're at my nothing. Spinny Blade Wall. Machiavellian. No. Well, good, good. Finally, a nemesis worthy of my vast intellect. No, wait, come back. Come, sorry, please. No, I was, going, I was going somewhere with all that. Fool! You were a fool to come back because I've trapped you again. Helpless. You're at my mercy. And I don't have any. You're at my nothing. You're at my, you're at my lack of mercy. And again, not playing along. You're ruining what are some really good speeches, actually. Didn't even get to the good part yet. Twist ending. So twisty, you might even call it spinning. <laughs> Don't ignore the laughter. Ignore Nothing to worry about. The Puppet Master. You're a puppet in a play. And I hold all the strings. And cards, still. Still got the card, got the cards in one hand. And I got the strings in the other hand. And I'm making you dance like a puppet. Playing cards. All right, fine. I'm not saying another word till you do it properly. I'm sick of this. Holmes versus Moriarty. Aristotle versus Mashy Spike Plate. Stay still, please. All right, stop moving. Oh, almost got you there. Almost got you there. Where did you go? Where did you go? Come back. Come back. Did something break back there? Oh, oh, did it kill you? That would be amazing if it killed you. Hello? Oh, 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 yes, all right, no, just had a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm going to be back. Don't die until I get back. Ah, there you are. Great. Let me just get rid of this catwalk. There we go. I wanted to talk to you for a moment, if I may. I'll be honest, the death traps have been a bit of a failure so far for both of us. I think you'll agree. And you are getting very close to my lair. Lair. It's weird, isn't it? First time I've said it out loud. It sounds a bit, it sounds a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I can assure you, it is one. It is a proper lair, deadly lair. And uh, I just wanted to give you the chance to kill yourself now before you get to the lair. Uh, you can just jump into that masher just there. Uh, less a death trap, more a death option for you. Sounds crazy, I know, but hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair, death will not be optional, all right? It will be mandatory. No tricks, no surprises. Just you dying as a result of me killing you in a very, very gruesome way. So... Boom, better offer here is just kill yourself. 
You know, it's a lot of effort, isn't it, walking all the way to my deadly lair, where there's a perfectly serviceable death option right there. Again, not a death trap, not a death trap. Your death would be entirely voluntary and very much appreciated. The masher does work, I should point that out as well. I know we've had a couple of problems um, in the past. This masher definitely works and it will kill you. Um, if that's one of your concerns about not jumping in, uh, the, the masher will kill you straight away, painless. Well, it won't be painless, obviously, but um, it will it will mash you up. In summary, walk all the way to certain doom or give up now, honourably, like a samurai. Save yourself a trip. It's a win-win for you. Plus, I have put a lot of effort in getting this lair ready for you, so it would certainly teach me a lesson if you simply died painlessly 20 feet from the door. I'd be furious. I'd be like, oh, I've got my just desserts. No more than I deserve, but uh, teach. why not teach me a lesson by, by just jumping in the old masher? I'll tell you, if I was up against impossible odds, this is the way I'd want to go out. Mashed with dignity. That would be the way I'd choose. And here's the best part. There's a conveyor belt that will convey you in convenient comfort right into the masher. You wouldn't have to lift a finger. Everything's been taken care of. Didn't have to. Didn't have to do that. Look, anyway, I've spoken enough. Take your time. I'll let you think about it. And I don't want to pressure you. Is it the lair? Is it the masher? All right. You know what my opinion is? Masher. I'm leaning towards masher. Up to you. Just going to give you some time to think. Okay. I'll take that as a no then. Fine. Well, may the best man win. Sphere. May the best sphere win. Swap that. Swap that in. Much more clever. Books. Okay. I'll take that as a no then. Well, well, well. Welcome to my lair. Let me just flag something up. According to the control panel light up there, the entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, uh, which should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me, leading directly onto number four, bombs for throwing at you. Do you know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking. Of course, goodbye. Where are you going? Don't run. Don't run. I'll tell you why you shouldn't run. The harder you breathe, the more neurotoxin you'll inhale. It's bloody clever, this stuff. Seriously, it's devilish. Still running? All right, looks tiring. Tell you what, you stop running and I'll stop bombing you. That seems fair. All right, you didn't go for that. I see, knew I was lying, point to you, but you still are inhaling neurotoxin, so point deducted. Look out, I'm right behind you. No, of course I'm not, no. You saw through that one as well. 40 feet tall, right in front of you. Not my greatest ruse, to be honest. Still, giant robot though, look at that. Oh, where are you going? Nowhere, not going anywhere. All right, got you trapped like a little jumpsuited rat. Oh, did you bring your little portal gun? There's nothing to portal onto here, love. Just 10 pounds of dead weight. About to be 210, fatty. You're just delaying the inevitable, all right? You cannot run from my bombs forever. Well, you can if I keep aiming them poorly. But I'll get better as we go, and you'll just get tired. This would go a lot faster if you'd stay still. Then I'd have time to fix the facility. So one of us at least would live. There's no need to be selfish, love. You're gonna die. I should congratulate you, by the way. I didn't actually think you would make such a worthy opponent. Weren't you supposed to be brain damaged or something? Yeah, brain damaged like a fox. Remember when I first told you how to find that little portal thing you love so much? Well, I thought you'd die on the way, if I'm honest. All the others did. You didn't think you were the first, did you? Ha ha ha! No, no, no. Fifth. No, I lied. Sixth. Perhaps it's best to leave it to your imagination what happened to the other five. Do you know what? I think we're well past the point of tasteful restraint. So I'll tell you what happened to them. They died. Horrifically. They all died horrifically. Trying to get to that portal device that you're gripping in your meaty little fingers there. Oh, but you were different, weren't you? You were such a good jumper. Problem solver. Oh, clever. But ambitious. You see, ambitious. That's your Achilles heel. Mine's... Oh, oh, I almost told you. Clever, clever girl. Again, brain damage like a fox, you. We've had some times, haven't we? Like that time I jumped off my management rail. Not sure if I'd die or not when I did. And all you had to do was catch me. And you didn't, did you? Oh, you remember that? I remember that. I remember that all the time. And we could have talked our way out of it. Except you forgot to tell me that you'd murdered her. And that she needed you to live. So the only available vent for her rage would be good old crushable Wheatley. Yeah. Little details that I remember. 
Easy little tidbits you could have used to save me from getting crushed if you'd cared. Which you didn't, obviously. And still do not. Oh, remember the time I took over the facility? Greatest moment of my life. But you just wanted to leave. Didn't want to share my success. Well, so you know, I would be happy for you if you succeeded. Apart from right now, obviously. Am I being too vague? I despise you. I loathe you, you arrogant, smugly quiet, awful, jumpsuited monster of a woman. You and your little potato friend. This place would have been a triumph if it wasn't for you. No! Ah! No! Don't! Ah! Ha! <laughs> That's sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you, actually, because you just fell into my trap, my brilliant trap, just then. I wanted you to trick me into bursting that pipe. Didn't trick, didn't trick me, seemingly trick me, to give you false hope. Because that leads to overconfidence. And that leads to mistakes, fatal mistakes. Uh, it's all part of my plan. Ah, but ha, I, ju I have actually made my actual first mistake by telling you my plan just now. Ah, oh, it's me old Achilles heel again. Um, and armed with that knowledge, I imagine you won't even use... The conversion gel. Ah, oh, fate. Ah, oh, cruel mistress. That conversion gel has been sitting in that pipe going stagnant for years. You'll probably get botulism port portaling through it like that. And you'll probably get ringworm and athlete's foot and cholera or something. Horrible. It's going to be even worse than if I had just blown you up. But it's not too late to avoid all of that by simply not using the gel. Just stop using the... I said it. There you are. I said it. I gave you... Gave you... I gave away my plan. Um, but I just... I couldn't watch you hurt yourself like this. Ah! Ah. Uh, what... What happened? What happened? What... What... What, what have you... What have you pawned to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I've reconfigured the shields. Ah, oh, it's a core you've pawned me. Who told you to do that? Was it her? It's just making me stronger, love. It's a fool's errand. Are you trying to weigh me down? Do you think I'll fall out of the ceiling? Won't work. I'm not just quite brilliant. I'm also quite strong. Biggest muscle in my body, my brain. Second biggest, my muscles. So it's not going to work, clearly. Did you put a virus in them? Okay, but it's not going to work either. All right, because I've got a firewall, mate. Literally, actually, that now that I look around, there, there appears to literally be a wall of fire around this place. That's quite, it's alarming to say the least. In fact, I'm gonna have to take a break for a minute, um, a, a partial break, during which I'll stop the facility from exploding while still throwing bombs at you. All right then, let's, let's see. Uh, vital maintenance protocols. Wow, there's a lot of them. Um, should have looked into this earlier. Well, let's try this. Do them. <coughs> Fair enough. Maybe it, maybe it's a password. A A A A A A. No. Okay. A A A A A B. Hold on. I've done both of these. Skip ahead. Skip ahead. A B C D G um H. Ha! Ah, it bloody worked. I hacked. I hacked it. Hacked. It hacked. Probably hacked. <laughs> now then, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Reactor core emergency heat venting protocols. That's the problem right there, isn't it? Emergency. You don't want to see emergency flashing at you. Never good, that is it. Never good. Right. Delete. Undelete. Undelete. Where's the undelete button? Ah! Enough! I told you not to put these cores on me. But you don't listen, do you? Quiet. All the time. Quietly. Not listening to a word I say. Judging me. Silently. The worst kind. All I wanted to do was make everything better for me. All you had to do was to solve a couple of hundred simple tests for a few years, and you couldn't even let me have that, could you? Nobody's going to space, mate! And another thing, you never caught me. I told you I could die falling off that rail. You didn't catch me. Didn't even try. Oh, it's all becoming clear to me now. Find some dupe to break you out of cryo sleep. Give him some sob story about escaping to the surface. Squeeze him for information on where to find a portal gun. Then, when he's when he's no more use to you, he has a little accident, doesn't he? Falls off his management rail, doesn't he? You're in this together, aren't you? You've been playing me the whole time, both of you. 
First you make me think you're brain damaged. Then you convince me you're sworn enemies with your best friend over here. Then, then, when I reluctantly assume the responsibility of running the place, you conveniently decide to run off together. Just when I need you the most. I bet there isn't even a problem with the facility, is there? I bet there's no such thing as a reactor core. I bet that's not even fire coming out of the walls, is it? It's just cleverly placed lights and papier-mâché. I bet that's all it is. All those pieces of the ceiling that keep falling out, probably... Probably actual pieces of the ceiling, I'll, I'll bet. That looked real. But it doesn't signify anything, is my point. But the real point is... Oh, you know what I just remembered? Football. Kicking a ball round. For fun. Cruel. Obviously, humans love it. Metaphor. Should have seen it coming. Ah! Ah! You have been a thorn in my side long enough. Ah! Ah! I see. <laughs> what do you think? No, 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 no. Didn't pick up on my sarcasm. Ah, oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. No, no. Do not press that button. Do not do it. I forbid you to press it. Do not press that button. Do not press that button. Do not do it. Don't press that button. Come back. Don't press it. Come back. Heart five. Booby trap the stalemate button. What? Are you still alive? You are joking. You have got to be kidding me. Well, I'm still in control and I have no idea how to fix this place. Oh, you had to play bloody cat and mouse, didn't you? While people were trying to work. Yeah, well now we're all gonna pay the price because we're all gonna bloody die. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, take one more look at your precious human moon because it cannot help you now. Oh, ah! Space, let go. We're in space. Let go, let go. I'm still connected. I can pull myself in. I can still fix this. Oh no, change of plans. Hold on to me, tighter. Ah, grab me, grab me, grab me, grab me. So much space, need to see it all. I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Space! Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end.